Hey guys, back with another video here for both European War 4 and World Conqueror 3 once again. Now this time I'll be doing um, uh, cavalry and tank generals, which basically in these games, cavalry and tanks are basically the same exact thing. They're the only uh, units in the game that can continue an attack after defeating one enemy unit. They can defeat uh, as many enemy units that are around them as possible in their r range of attack. But, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, they're, they're extremely effective, cavalry generals and tank generals in World Conquer 3. Uh, anyway, so to get on with it, we have these two, and I mentioned these in my last video, General Murat and General Buchler. Uh, Murat is, well, ridiculous. Open them up for you. So, you can see his abilities, Assault Art, Surprise, uh, War Expert, and Spy. The ones I really want you to focus on are Spy surprise and assault art so spy is really good is it basically allows him to do a serious amount of damage to enemy fort fort units this allows him to take out even the strongest forts in a few turns which is really effective the next one surprise um this is really good because in this game when you cavalry charge someone they can actually lose morale for a turn this is really good in especially attacking like heavy um, units that have more health or you know generals <coughs> excuse me um losing morale seriously affects your troops uh fighting ability so this is really good and then lastly assault art this is very good even though it doesn't happen as much when it does happen i've had marat deal upwards of you know over 100 damage which in especially in european war 4 is a crazy amount of damage this guy is a must-have, and as you can see, I also have uh, defense plus four with the, uh, I believe, well, I just look right here, the uh, gilding Kara I, god damn it, I might pronounce it, the gilding caress, uh, this adds defense plus four, enemy attack minus four, and then it's got the pistol, which attack plus six, so he's very good, and the next one, General Buchler. He's got 5 out of 5 stars for cavalry. Um, he really, his only good cavalry ability is uh, mobility. So that's about it. But he has 5 out of 5 stars, so he's very good. And then I have two items for him. Uh, I recommend you get these items. Cavalry sword, attack plus 4. Um, and then I have the army tentage, army tent. So it gives plus four healing ability in the wild. Basically, if you're not in a city and you're just sitting out, uh, somewhere he gets plus four, you know, regeneration of health. That's not that important though. This guy is also another really good general to have, and uh, those two for European War Four, probably the best. Switching over to World Conquer Three as it loads up. There's two tank generals in here that I would recommend. Now one of them is behind a absolutely massive paywall. Um, that's uh, you'll, you'll see. So actually, I'll do three generals for this, because if you don't want to be behind a completely massive paywall, uh, <coughs> yeah, then uh, you can have the other two. But start out with the first Chang general, which is just this guy is, I don't know how it's legal, Eric von Manstein. He is probably one of the, he's probably the best general in this game. Not only does Manstein have the Blitzkrieg ability, as you can see, with the two little lightning rods, uh, basically... 24% 20, of the time, uh, when he attacks an enemy unit, it won't retaliate. Retaliate. You also have the explosives ability, that little grenade right there, that gives him 32 extra damage to cities and fortress units. So he he will take out a level five city or a capital city, no issue. He also has the defense ability, which will take down a lot of damage, and of course, plane fighting, the best ability in the game. <coughs> the second best tank general, Gudarian. He's very similar to Manstein, as you can see, um, but his plane fighting's at level 4. This guy, he dominates. He just utterly dominates and is extremely good. However, these two, they're, um, they're not really a steal. Ludarian is very expensive. Manstein costs $20. <laughs> he's very expensive, but he's very good. The other tank general I have who is extremely good is General Patton. Uh, he's pretty good, Patton's pretty good, um, 
He's not as good as Guderian or Manstein, but he's still pretty good to have, and he doesn't cost as much in terms of metals. Now, there is one more. Okay, you know what? Sorry, my phone doesn't want to cooperate. There is one more tank general that I would like to show you all who is a steel, and that is General Vatitutin of the Soviet Union. He's very good in that uh, you could see he has plain fighting ability and he has Tide of Iron at level 4 which gives you 24 extra damage when your troop falls below 50% health. He's really good as you can see he's a bit of a steal. He's only 1630 medals compared to that with some of the other guys I mentioned in this video. They're way more expensive. But that I guess is the video. This is going on for a really long time and I'm sorry about the uh, the rambling a little bit. But these generals, the ones I mentioned in this video, if you have the money, or the medals, which in a way gives you the money, uh, I'll get that in the way of my disgusting hairy leg, um, you have that, get these guys, they'll seriously help you out, and uh, yeah, peace out.